You've just finished a massive project, and regardless of how much you've learned, you deserve kudos for all your patience. This project requires you to follow several long steps before you can see your code run. I hope it's worth it, and I hope in retrospect you can see why all the code was needed. Along the way, you've learned all about SK Shape Node, AV Audio Player, Physics Speed, Case Iterable, Remove First, Action Groups, and more. So you're several steps closer to your goal of being an experienced Swift developer. Good job. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. So I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, try removing the magic numbers in the create enemy method. Instead, define them as constant properties of your class, giving them useful names. Second, create a new, fast-moving type of enemy that awards a player bonus points if they hit it. And third, add a game over sprite node to the game scene when the player loses all their lives. 